All right, people. All right, replay viewers. Okay. Hey, Liz, thanks for coming to the room. Thanks for coming to the room. Appreciate you. This is going to be a very quick scope, right? It's going to be a quick one because I just got my house and what? You see, I still got my coat on and I'm about to run out and um, I got a phone call to be on. Okay? So this ain't going to be a long one at all, right? Really, I'm just going to have to review some things because I can't stay here for too long. So there's somebody else in the room, but I can't see you. So just know that welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, hey, Angel. Thanks for coming to the room. It's going to be a very quick scope because... Oh, shoot. I didn't even got my earring on. Um, because I got to run out. Okay? Just got in the house and I got to run out. Okay. And um, so it's pretty much I'm just going to have to do a review just so that I can touch bases. I didn't want to not come here. And I didn't want to come in here too late neither as well. I have a lot of stuff to do. So what I'm going to be talking about today is the world came quick. All right. So remember, yesterday was the 1st of May. And so um, Apostle John Eckhart, oh, first of all, let me do a quick reset. So if you don't know who I am and you're here for the first time, and especially to the replay viewers, my name is Mercy Marge Jenkins. I am a spirit-led Christian life coach, and I'm here to empower women so that they can leave their wilderness and they can um, venture into the promised land, right? And how do I do that? By transformational techniques, okay? And through my coaching programs. Okay, great. So the word was yesterday impartation, right? And so I taught an impartation and that there was different ways to receive an impartation and what is an impartation, right? And how do you know that you received an impartation? Um, so, so the word impartation means to share, okay? Just bottom line in, in the Greek, I believe, it just means to share, okay? There's a, um, there's a sharing over, there's a giving over, and there's a sharing, okay? And so that could be, um, that could be knowledge, wisdom, that could be understanding, that could be um, healing, that could be deliverance. It's giving over something, right? Okay. And so I talked about there's two different forms, right? It could be internal or it could be external, meaning what you tell yourself, um, the environment in which you breed um, your thinking abilities, okay? You got to make sure that it's a positive ground, all right? It's a positive ground and that you're imparting to yourself. And you're in control to impart into yourself, meaning that you've got to get the wisdom, you've got to get the knowledge, you've got to go to the know-how, if it's going to the library, if it's getting the book, you've got to put yourself in an environment to get, okay? And I talked about, um, this morning, I talked about um, how after teaching it, and I was in my class, right, how because it was on the top of, it was at the forefront of my mind because I just taught it, I decided to do something different in my class. And so what I did is, is raise my hand up. I, I held up high and said, listen, yo, I need some help. Can you help a sister out? Okay. So that, that change of, um, you know, the a different attitude and a different mindset created a different reaction. And so I was able to get the help that I needed, the impartation. Okay. So today, any one of these incidents I'm going to reel off, it's not necessarily an unusual day, but to have them all four of them packed in one. Hey, Chris, thanks for coming in the room, Chris. Um, it's good to see you. Um, but to have four of these incidents in one day is a little different, right? Uh, like I said, if you, any one of these incidences on a, any given day, it's okay. But when they're all bunched together, it can kind of get intense. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. It can kind of get intense. And then you're like, kind of gets your attention, I want to say. So what caught my attention today? was this. Um, first of all, I was um, talking to someone today, coaching them with them over the phone, and I told them for what they wanted to do that I felt like they needed to go somewhere else and get some support. And so I told them exactly who to contact. And, um, I, you know, sometimes you tell people what to do and you give them some advice, you give them some wisdom. It doesn't mean they're going to do it, right? So anyway, this particular individual got off the phone with me, made the phone call, got the support that they needed, right? Um, got the partnership, not just support in terms of words, got the partnership that they needed, okay? Um, in other words, they were gonna, um, it was going to be like a joint venture. And called me back in the afternoon and texted me and texted me a, a copy of their flyer. And I'm like, whoa, from talking to you this morning, you got a flyer? And not only that, you managed to speak to the individual and they said they're going to help you. And so the plan is to start rolling that course in the fall. I was like, wow, that was super fast, wasn't it? 
So, you know, there's an, remember we talked about this in acceleration of an impartation, double measure of grace, double portion, right? For this month of May, there was a grace. Yeah. Okay. That was a grace. This is somebody I would consider to be a little stuck. Okay. And so for them to make that type of movement, very unusual, very unusual. So that was this morning. And then who else, who else did I talk to this morning? And then there was somebody else I talked to, uh, oh God, there was like four pieces, right? So there was that. And then somebody reached out to, oh yeah. And then this morning, um, early in the morning, about nine 30, somebody texted me and their number's not even in my phone book. Right. So I didn't know who it was, but all I got was, oh, uh, mercy. Here's my to-do list. Um, and I was like, to do list. I was like, to do what? I'm supposed to do something. I said I was going to do something. You're going to do something. What is this about? And then, so when I figured out who it was after I replied and whatever, this is someone who's never um, sent me their uh, their list, but they were reaching out. So I talked about the importance of reaching out. Like I had to raise my hand. This person was um, raising their hand, saying, "I need the support." And I've chosen you to actually help me to be accountable, right? So I'm like, okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. And then in the afternoon, say about three, four, somebody reached out to me to help me, right? They've never reached out to me before. And so I was like, oh, wow, this is interesting. But this is exactly what I needed, okay? This was exactly what I needed. You know, sometimes, you know, you try to uh, build relationships and forge relationships, but if the other person's not ready for it, you know, you are, you, you just kind of let it go, right? But this person actually reached back to me and was actually helping me with what I needed, right? So I was like, yes, that's what I needed. Remember, we pray for resources and pray for resources, right? Okay. So God giving us favor. I was like, whoa. And then the fourth thing was, um, as I came in, somebody else reached me about, um, you know, and I'm not the best when it comes to technology, but, um, for whatever they needed and they support with, I knew exactly what to do and how to do it. And I gave them the recommendations and so forth. And they didn't understand why. And I gave them the reasons why. Okay. I'm not big on technology, right? Okay. But I was able to do that. So I was kind of feeling kind of chuffed. I won't even lie. I was feeling like a dapper, right? You know when you don't know something, but it sounded like you know something at that time? Okay. It was one of those moments, right? So like I said, any one of those incidences on any given day, it's, it's not a big thing. It's regular. It's normal. But for four of them, it kind of got, caught my attention, right? And so even with the person who wanted to do the program, I told her, I said, listen, you need to talk to so-and-so because I really feel they got impartation for you. Because why? Because impartation, I remembered it was for this month and it was at the forefront of my... See, what I'm just really sharing with you is... Oh God, after all that. So what I'm really sharing with you is how I... The, the more I talk it, the more I can hear it. It's how I talk as a scribe, yeah? Because I know a lot of people, high Facebook people, I was rambling, talking all this time. And well, I won't say rambling, but teaching. And I forgot to press the go live button. I forget with Facebook live, there's about four steps you're going to take. Whereas Periscope, you're already live. You touch one button and you're already gone live, right? So, um, so as I was saying that, um, yeah. So, you know, as a scribe, when I hear a word, I hold on to that word, right? And I don't know if you're like that and you might just be like that too, right? But as a scribe, I really hold on to that word. I really reminisce and go over it, go over it, go over it. Because I, for me, I just have to walk it out. Hey, hey, um, Sajun Girl, thanks for coming in the room. So it's just really important for me to just like walk out that word. So even though that word was released, I'm not that type of individual to just let it fall to the ground and just forget about it, right? And even today, I was going back on the months before I was going back in January, February, March in my mind in April saying, okay you know, this is what happened. This is what happened. That was the word that was released. That was the word that was released. So I just want to encourage you guys. Yeah. I just want to encourage you. This is the month of impartation, right? There's a power in, um, impartation. And that means getting around the right people that have something to impart to you. And in order for that to even happen, remember that saying now, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. When the student is ready, the teacher appears. Okay. So if you as a student is not ready, okay. The teacher is always in your midst. The teacher is always there, but 
they're not revealed because you're not ready, okay? Because you've got to take on a certain role. You've got to be coachable. You've got to be teachable. And once you appear that way, then the teacher then appears, okay? So that's very important. In order to receive an impartation, be willing, ready, and available um, to, um, to listen, to listen and to implement, listen and implement, okay? All right, so that's my little nugget for today, word. All right, Chris, word, I like that, okay. So yeah, so be encouraged for today. All right, it's just a quick review on the word today. I don't have, um, like I said, I've got to run out. You know I was missing this weekend, right? So you know there's a lot of things I've got to catch up. Kids were telling me about, mom, 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 help me with the laundry and stuff. So I've got a lot of work to do right now. But um, I definitely just want to touch bases with you guys and um, um, just give you some stuff to support you. So let me do a quick reset, look, quick reset, look, quick reset. All right, my name is Mercy Mars Jenkins, and I'm a spirit-led Christian life coach, and I empower women to step out of their wilderness and step into their promised land, right? And so how do I do that? By using transformational techniques, right? To help people in their minds come out the mind prison, rock out of them prisons, yeah? It's time to come out of those prisons, those self-limiting beliefs, all right? To be able to be who God said that you are, be everything that he said that you are and have everything that he said you can have, right? Okay, so listen, I hope that supports you and I'm excited for next week, all right? I'm excited for next week, yeah? And I'm planning out for next week, right? We're gonna do 21 days of walking intentionally, intentionally, intentionally to launch, right? We're doing a launch, right? It's a launch party next week, next month for 21 days, yeah? So I'm excited, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see how um, we're going to be making steps and making moves, making changes in our lives, right? Stepping up and making up, um, um, doing new habits, new new habits, and walking that habit for 21 days. So I'm excited. All right. So listen, people, it's been great. I appreciate you and I appreciate you, the um, replay viewers, for always coming in the room and hiding up, sharing out to Twitter. Um, if this support you in any way, certainly share it out. All right. But, um, my time is running down and I've got to go and um, take care of fam. All right. Well, so listen, I shall see you tomorrow morning for our morning powwows. All right. We'll do our morning powwows about 8, 10 Eastern time in the morning. All right. So we've got winning Wednesday tomorrow. Okay. So listen, I hope that supports you and um, God bless and take care. All right. Take care now. Bye.